Our third session of this panel discussion is cultivating a winning sales culture. The culture within an organization which plays a very important role in driving sales success. Today we have the privilege from hearing from our sensational and esteemed industry leaders who have successfully crafted and nurtured sales culture that inspire and empower teams to excel together. Well, we do have our panelists, but I'd like to invite the moderator and he's going to take forward the session. Leading this engaging discussion, we have a distinguished moderator, Mr. Shishir Pachai, who is accomplished and a decisive individual himself, a professional who's been working in this industry for 16 years, and that too in a very commendable way in corporate operations and execution. He has a very strong perception using integrated methodologies, whatever he's learned through his experience. He will guide our esteemed panelists as they share their experience, strategies, vision for fostering a sales culture that leads to victory. Now it's time that we gain insights with this panel discussion, cultivating a winning sales culture. Let me invite the moderator, everyone together, Mr. Shishir Pachai, CEO of Kantipur Television HD. A huge round of applause, please. Check. Thank you, Preska. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mohandai, for having us in this grand and uh, so energizing event. Uh, it's an absolute honor, absolute honor and privilege um, to be here in this session, cultivating a winning sales culture. Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are pumped up after Mr. Pawan Agrawal's session. He was sensational, right? So uh, I will take his example, like Pawan Agrawal, sir, was actually talking about winning sales culture. He was actually, from 1890 to till here, he was talking about how customer satisfaction was the first priority. He was talking about all the takeaways from collaborations to the services that he was giving to his client and how Employee First also was the approach of his uh, that made Dabawala as a Dabawala today. So with his example also, what I think is uh, sales, when talk about sales or winning sales, um, it is directly related with human relation, human emotions, human intelligence, right? So it's a continuous process. It cannot be a one day process. And uh, as he said, and I understand that winning sales culture is uh, a component, is a, a, is a multiple factors component, like strategy, leadership, passion, resilience, and many, many, many other things, many other things. In fact, he's expressed like timely delivery and everything. Many other things. Uh, which actually shape, which actually give the trajectory to the organization. If we don't have a right culture in the organizations, we may not have right sales, we may not have right team, maybe. So in today's session, cultivating a winning sales culture, uh, we will deep dive into this discussion. We'll try to uh, come up with a multiple process. We'll try to come up with the multiple examples that how, uh, how we can create a, uh, how we can create a system where there is a winning sales, where, where, where there is a winning sales strategy or where, where there's a winning culture we can actually incorporate over there. And to discuss this, uh, we have a great, amazing panel with us today. So uh, I would like to introduce them and uh, welcome them to join me on stage. Uh, first, I would like to request our Simadi, Simadi, Director of Him Electronics. She has a two, 20 years of experience, a passionate uh, advocate of woman empowerment, 
She has also served as a president of Jonta Club of Kathmandu. And one thing she's so proud in the last 20 years that she has accomplished of establishing all women staff at Samsung Plaza. Can you believe like 99% of staffs are a team of female and doing they, they are doing a great job over there. Simadi, please. Uh, then I'd like to request Mr. Rohit Gupta, Vice Chairman at Ramesh Corp. Uh, Rohit, uh, knowing Rohit as a, he's the youngest, youngest Vice President at CNI Nepal. And uh, his team known, known him as a, like, a humble personality. And uh, after he joined his organizations, he is known as a culture champion. Like he has changed the organization structure since he joined the organization. So Rohit, I would like to request you Please join us in the stage. And uh, when talking about Akshay, like other side of Akshay, like Akshay is a fitness priority guy. He, he keeps his fitness at the first. And uh, while I was talking to him, I found that he's a great animal lover and also passionate about his traveling. Akshay, yeah, welcome to the stage, please. Everyone ready now? Since it's a sales summit, I think we need a participants from both sides. Before we start the conversation, I just want to quickly ask a question to you all, which you just have to agree or disagree. In your agreement, you just put your hands up, or if you don't agree, it's okay. How many of you agree that a company have winning sales, but a losing culture? I'll repeat my question. How many of you agree that a company have winning sales but a losing culture? All right. So I think um, I will start that context with giving one case study. Is it okay? Like, yeah. Uh, a case study, I'm listening to Suni Rakhege song. I'm listening to Porege song. Uh, Nepal ko example or kei bairko example line bela ma. Um, Janakpur churot kharkana. Nekonir. Baasbari jutta. Yo Nepal ko yada sketch book. Out of many. Ani out of many in international ma chai maile Reliance Telecommunications ko yada example liye. Right? Uh, this company is jabo tinor afno bela ma afno kam gor rakhe gote. Tinor le unmatched afno sales target pura gor rakhe gote. Unmatched sales target. Ani Consumer could lag your after perceived level, highest perceived level of Bosira Kegote on a room. And one of the most biggest brand back at it. Thought of fast forward as I mean, 2023, I just did a case study must see me by a bossy, right? You winning sales, losing culture, go my legend concern here, Raki. My first question goes to Rohit. Based on your experience, Rohit, do you think a company can have winning sales but a losing culture? and how a losing culture can impact the growth of the company. Thank you, Sushir. Uh, well, this, I'll start with the popular saying, you know, culture eats strategy for breakfast. So I, whether we agree with this or not agree with this, but uh, the relevance here is how important the culture is for an organization. So uh, the references that you gave of some companies in Nepal, globally, and companies globally, just lay at one time, Nokia ko example, you know, I started my career with mobile phones, so, when I started off, you know, when I came back to Nepal 2008, so I uh, launched an Indian brand called Spice Mobile into Nepal, and at, the, at that time, Nokia almost had an 80% market share, you know, globally, not only in Nepal. So, and within seven years of that, Nokia was, non Nokia was non non-existent. So, would, would you give that to a winning sales team or a losing culture? So, I definitely, like, you know, uh, believe and think that uh, we cannot have a winning sales team if we have a losing culture in an organization. You know, culture, culture is a very tight knit thing that uh, you have in an organization that drives everything because until and unless uh, sales team you know knows about the product knows uh, knows about the organizational value the purpose it is very difficult for them to like translate that into numbers or revenue goals so these are two very uh, synon these are two very synonymous uh, i believe to each other in our organization what i have felt like in my in my career in my journey when we started off with mobile phone business 
I have tried like multiple, multiple brands over the period of time. So why I'm still successful in this industry is because we have been able to adapt. We have been agile. So many, many times what happens to an organization is the top brass is so focused uh, in their own dreams that they, they detach them, themselves with the market reality. So once that happens, you know, then the culture, like, you know, uh, there's no culture and everything, you know, uh, falls apart. So then you cannot have a, a winning sales team. Okay, so will that impact the growth of the company, like, if you don't adapt or agile? Immunity so that if absolutely, you absolutely. I mean, uh, the classic case studies that you spoke about, you spoke about Reliance Communication, right? I mean, that is what happened. Reliance was focusing on CDMA when there was a GSM technology. And the, and the, and the brother, and Mukesh Ambani, he, he slightly, you know, slightly closely, he bet on the 4G spectrum and while the, all the other players were sitting on 3G. So what I want to say is, you know, the, organ, the, orga, the organizational belief, the, the top brass, you know, they should be also able to adapt, be agile and also be able to see the future and, to, and, and be able to adapt to it. If you do not do that, you know, any, any, any company can be Nokia, right? I mean, we never, never thought that Nokia is where, although I'm still distributing Nokia, you know, but and I mean, from the heydays of Nokia, you know, no one could have imagined that the brand which like, you know, globalized mobile phones would be actually a non-existent existing player, you know, in that particular, you know, vertical in one and a half decades. I agree, like, I mean, um, uh, I mean, you rightly touched upon Nokia, adaptive liberty and agility, we'll come to that particular question. Uh, but before that, I think uh, I want to ask like Simadi, um, what do you think, like, uh, when, when, you, when you talk about winning culture? I mean, you as a session of Boston, I'm losing culture, I'm going to examples. But actually, winning culture is a key component. I mean, as a sales manager, I'm going to ask you, what is winning culture? I'm going to ask you, what is the use of the industry? As a journalist, I'm going to ask you, what is the winning culture? What is the winning culture? Yeah, cool. Thank you. So, uh, when I think of winning culture, the most important thing is the leadership. That's it, you start with that. Uh, because the company's ethos, the company's vision, mission should be very, very clear and transparent down the line. Your sales team where we are talking about, if you don't know the company's vision, so that's the leadership has to very clarify what are they thinking about, what is, because that's long term. The sales part is just very short term, but if you want the con company to continue, I mean, for me, our organization is now 100 years old. It's all about transparency. So that's again leadership, transparency. And uh, obviously what I feel is very important is to be able to talk to each other and to get a feedback, which normally does not happen. It is. We have to accept that the mindset is like that, that what has been told from the superior, it comes down. But to get the feedback from what is happening at the uh, employee level is very important and that keeps the company culture going. So I guess the communication is again one of the very important, uh, what is company thinking of, what is the idea, how the company wants to progress and that should be very well communicated to the entire team. Only then it's possible that it is a winning uh, culture uh, is going to, going to be invo evolved. And uh, I guess these all the components make a uh, winning team. Uh, so uh, when, when we talk about components of communications, leadership, transparency, feedback, Actually, my next questions will be to you, definitely. Since uh, Rohit touched upon Nokia's case studies uh, and adaptive and agility, don't we think that like Nokia is just a company, when, when there was like no, there was no nearest competitors, right? Unearly um, willingness like organizations ma yoda winning culture ko lagi retention ko lagi hos, like communications ko lagi hos, right? Unele kun level kora investment kora boshi rakhe ko thiyo la yoda yoda. And second like abo market ma jo level ko program unele introduce kora hai, so definitely unmatched bhai ra unele goi rakhe ko thiyo. म थोरै अलिकति केस मात्रै बनाइदिइ रहेछु र इनहरुको अलि अलिकति इनहरुको केस स्टडीज मैले पनि इनहरुको हेर्दा खेरि लाइक आउट अफ मेनी कम्पोनेन्ट्स कम्युनिकेसन्स लिडरशिप ट्रान्सपेरेन्सी म इनहरु त कहीं पनि इनहरुलाई कहीं त्यही इशु नै थिएन के तर मेजर फेलियरको आउटकम्स दुईटा कुरामा निकालिएको थियो एउटा चाहिँ इनोभेसन राइट जसमा चाहिँ आई वांट अहिले हजुरले आफ्नो पोइन्ट्स अफ भ्यु राख्ने बेलामा यसमा चाहिँ हामी छिर्नु पर्छ बिकज हामी ट्रेडिङ बेस्ड देशमा सेल्स कल्चरलाई हामीले त्यो इनोभेसन्समा हाम्रो इनोभेसन्स आरएनडी कस्तो कल्चरले छोइराखेको छ एउटा मेबी एउटा मेन क्वेशन्स हजुरलाई त्यो हुन्छ 
इनोवेशन्स और टेक्नोलॉजिकल एडवांसमेंट को एक्सेप्टेन्स राइट टाइम में नौरा तो स्टडी में एटा कुरा कतई अभी सेकेंड एकदम महत्वपूर्ण कुछ जो विनिंग कल्चर को लगी छूट कस्टमर प्रिफ्रेन्स राइट अगर पवन अग्रवाल सर ने एकदम के मेरा कस्टमर क्या चाहता है एकदम एकदम छुन खोजी रख दुईटा कुछ नोकिया को सेल्स में तेल कला लग नोकिया को केस स्टडी फेल होता खेल कला कि लाइक आई मीन आरएनडी अभी इनोवेशन्स रस्टमर प्रिफ्रेन्स महत्वपूर्ण से इंपोर्टेन्ट रो स्ट्राटेजी हमी जसों देश के बनाने पर्ने विनिंग कल्चर को Thank you, Shashir. Good morning, everyone. So uh, I'll start off with an example, with an example of uh, one of our companies. It's uh, called Reliance Spinning Mills. It's around a 30-year-old company, operating in uh, uh, Khanar, uh, Nepal. Uh, we have around 3,500 laborers, 500 staff, so a workforce of 4,000. Till date, we have not had any strike. So this is probably one of the handful of industries that has never had a Industrial relation problem. So back in 2020, uh, you know, when we were all in lockdown, all our companies were shut. Uh, we were forced to stop our businesses, stop our lifestyle, everything. We decided, as a as a company, we decided that until the government tells us to stop, we will run our industry. Until we are forced to uh, completely say that okay, we cannot do anything, we will continue to run. Doesn't matter. What we did at that time was we did not stop anyone's salary. We did not do any pay cuts. We did not uh, have any problems within our system that would impact the livelihood of basic minimum wage labor. The result of that. Was that in the year 2020, 21, we had the highest sales recorded in the last 27 years. We had the highest profitability in the last 27 years, and since 2020, the last three years have year on year we have grown in our revenue. Year on year we have grown in our profits. And what we decided as a board, as a team, was that we want to invest in technology. We don't want to get uh, left behind, uh, you know, as the world moves towards better technology, better processes. So we introduced for the first time in Nepal. We introduced the Japanese technology that uh, makes the laborious work much simpler. It is much easier for uh, the workman to produce one kilo of yarn. And more than that, we invested in systems that makes the lifestyle of our people easier. So in our spinning system, we have huge air conditioners. It's a big investment, but the result of that was the revenues, the profitability, the growth. And now we are hugely competitive. Our quality is very well recognized. Nepali yarn, Nepali dhago ko quality is recognized higher than Indian yarn. India is a pioneer of textiles. तर हम धागो चाहे संसार भरी जान इट इज वेरी वेल एप्रिशिएटेड एंड द बेस्ट पार्ट इज वी गेट हाई प्राइसेस सो ऑफ कोर्स कल्चर हैज टू गो हैंड इन हैंड विथ टेक्नोलॉजिकल एडवांसमेंट वी कैन नॉट कीप वर्किंग लाइक वी आर वर्किंग ट्वेंटी इयर्स अगो और थर्टी इयर्स अगो टेक्नोलॉजी में सद इन्वेस्ट कर पर्स अपग्रेड कर दून पर्स अनादर थिंग रिलेटेड टू कल्चर एज रोहित सैड वॉज यू नो कल्चर डज इट स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर ब्रेकफास्ट आई हेव लर्न दैट इन माई एम बी एज वेल So I'll give you a second example from uh, one of our businesses. Uh, we are highly invested into hydropower. Our hydropower ma two three years ago, they can PPA boy da ke go thi na. We had uh, created a very big team. My na CEO, nice, very experienced, forty years uh, experience. Baako CEO, we had kept. We had uh, started an entire team, uh, about twenty twenty five en- engineers, in the in the hydro business. पीपीए भैराखे थे मेरे आर बोर्ड वॉज डिस्कसिंग यू नो वाई डू वी हेव सच अ हाई सैलरी द टीम वेन देर इज नो पीपीए वेन देर इज नो बिजनेस वॉट कैन वी डू सो आई वॉज डिस्कसिंग विद माई हेड ऑफ एच आर एंड यू नो शी शी एंड मी अग्रीड टू अ सर्टन एक्सटेन्ट दैट द इन्वेस्टमेंट राइट नाउ विल बेर फ्रूट इवेन्चुअली अल्ले सब जाना इफ यू यू नो जस्ट बिकज अफ गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसीज If we, as a private sector, do not invest and do not uh, give confidence to the to the people, then uh, what makes us different from the government, right? Mm-hmm. 
So we continue that team, and I'm proud to say that uh, you know the same team that we we retain and we encourage for the first time in the history of Nepal, a private sector entity got uh, a grant from a U.S. Uh, government organization called DFC. So uh, it's a $10 million grant, and it's never happened in a private entity uh, before in Nepal. And this is thanks to believing in the team and believing in the culture. That's great. So. So, as you say, I have to confidence and retention in the election. I have to say that I have to say that I have to say that I have to say Since your event, sales team, uh, sales summit, uh, you have to ask questions. I have to ask you a question. Winning sales or winning culture, I have to say that 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 I have to say Winning sales, I have to say that I have to say that I have to I was a company who was employed in the company. I was a budgeting plan. I was a target set. 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 I target set. I was a 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 target target set. I was a target set. I was a target set. Yes, for some 15% increment. I you to 15% increment was scientific method. Q actually, I'm a sales team, I'm a sales manager, sales director, a sales manager. Was it a mother? I'm a target to set girls on the scientific method. Q or this could rational. I'm because it's justified. Gosom, my question, Ruid, but answer in a sense. Thank you, Sushir. Unfortunately, this is not a very clear answer, but I'll tell you what we practice in our organization. I mean, uh, in Nepalese context, my economy is down, 50-60%, business is down. As a business owner, we still have aspiration that we should outdo our last year target. Or last year, whatever targets I think we all had set, I think we had all achieved not more than 60-65%. But as an owner, when we are, start, uh, when we are sitting in an annual business strategy review, we would, we would push our team to like, you know, outdo the last year target that they had taken. So normally, but to be more practical, I think, you know, uh, it is both related. I think we look at the market scoping, market sizing for any industry that I am in. Suppose, say, we are in cement manufacturing or say we are in cable and wire manufacturing. We see what is the, what is the market uh, size of that particular industry. Where did we close last year and what, what market uh, share are we aspiring, you know, to achieve in next fiscal year. So that market share can be, uh, say, 25% growth can be a 40% growth, can be 15% growth. That depends on the variables that uh, how would you want to drive your business. Suppose if I'm looking for a 40% growth, for to achieve that 40% growth, what are the products or what, what pricing product or other strategy we have to do within, within our team so that the sales team is able to achieve their target, you know? Because uh, yeah, sales team are always on the forefront, you know, in the market. And all the target pressure is, you know, obviously on the sales team because they are the they are the ones who are driving, you know, the revenue goals of the organization. But in our uh, in our organization at Rameshko, what we are trying to practice is not to burden them with like, you know, the entire sales revenue goal. You know, the goal is also shared with other functions. Maybe maybe the maybe the factory, the, the production people, maybe the commercial people, maybe the others because. Those people also play a very important role on how our sales team is going to achieve the target in the market. Because at the end of the day, we have to be competitive. I mean, product ma competitive, bhai na atwa. We are selling a wrong product. Any market customer ko demand or ko sa. This to bhai bani ta sales target tapa ko kali bani achieve hundena. So the first thing to set out right is a clear business plan, wherein you have a clear strategy from say the production floor to the to the sales in the retail outlet. Tio kura ma synchronization chaki sahi na and are we relative to the market or not? A lot of times what happens is, you know, we close our eyes, we are so aspirational that we don't see the market is going on, we are going on. As of time, it is such a fast-paced world now. Technology is changing so fast, you know, and competition is coming so fast. Tomorrow you never, never know, you know, uh, today what you are selling might be, tomorrow might be, you know, irrelevant. Cement ko case mein na. We only had few tapai ko government cement manufacturers doing like pretty good, like, you know, pandra barsa agari. Tara, like you know, in, in our initiation, we launched Shivam Cement, and it totally like you know uh, converted the impo uh, converted the cement import into the country, and it led to tobacco, 20 more industries coming into like you know cement manufacturing. But today, what has happened is that has that boon has like you know uh, turned around, wherein we have overcapacity, 
and we do not have you no know, the desired sales in the market so aajako din cement ko system le tapai le ke bhannu huncha would you would you tell them to like you know uh, sell the same amount same number of bags there that they have been selling or would be hold back and see be more strategic and see okay you focus on these areas where our realization is better and maybe don't look at non core areas where there are other places in the market so i think uh, if if i am able to like you know express myself right we have to be strategic you know we cannot just fold our eyes blind our eyes and say 15% growth 20% growth and just you know thopo it on the sales team that is what we do exactly like thopo on sales team is like frustration on sales team again i can just please, add please. to that uh so yeah, as uh, rohit rightly said you know you can't just have a target and then the company is like done for the year and next asar masant ma kura garu testo to milde milde na so in my case since i'm into electronics the way the products change so fast like can you imagine now uh, anybody buying not a, a smartphone it's a must so the older phones out in in case of televisions it's a smart tv so the normal television the sales have dropped completely so the target has to be according especially in electronics with the latest product with the latest technology so it has to keep changing of course we can't give a figure because of the situations in nepal the economy you just don't know how things are we are smiling here but all of us we know we are bleeding from the heart because we know the status of business at present uh, that's the way economy is going right now so there has to be some flexibility you cannot give a target which uh, the sales team is totally not able to achieve what is the point and also having said that also important that you cannot have a target which is uh, very easy to achieve within 10 gate or 15 gate which it, it doesn't make sense so setting a target is especially in nepali context i think it's the most difficult because of the scenario we face time and again i think i'll continue with the same question with you akshay like sales target hazur uh, haru jasto multi diverse companies haru le set garne bela aayeko rational ke huncha tara sange sange tesma add garna ke chahanchu bhane pachi kahile kahi hami le sales target hami le dekhi rakheko practicing ke huncha ni eta एट टू हाई टार्गेट रख जो अलग पोस्ट कोविड पाड़ी सीचुएसन तो धेरे टर्म सीचुएसन में गई रहे हमें पास्ट प्रेसिडेंट लाइन टार्गेट सेट कर हम तो खर्च भी डिफाइन भैर हो स्कीम प्लान भैर हो गी बजे प्लान सब चीज प्लान भैर हो अब यो बेला में हमी फर्स्ट क्वाटर रेकेंड क्वाटर में पुग्ने बेला में हमें जब रियलाइज हो अनरियलिस्टिक टार्गेट भो अब इस हमी रिसेट कर यो सीचुएसन्स बिकज अब सेल्स डिरेक्टर ने पिच करने बेला में हमें तो अनरियलिस्टिक टार्गेट भाई मैनेजमेंट ने इन्वेस्टर साइड पर इस हमें विनिंग सेल्स पर हे कि लुजिंग सेल्स पर हे वा यह सीचुएसन्स को डिमाण बने हे राख सो हम सीस्टम में चाहे वी डोट रियली सैट टार्गेट्स वी गेट टार्गेट्स वी इनकरेज आर सेल्स पीपल और द मार्केटिंग पीपल टू वर्क विद द फाइनेंस टीम एंड सैट टार्गेट्स एंड प्रेजेंटेड टू द बोर्ड सो तो अल अलग फरक I'll give you an example. Uh, your hotel ko chahi uh, we opened in 2021 end. 2021 uh, November tira chahi we thought that COVID is finished now. It's not going to come back. And then January 2022 Omicron happened, ayna. So this pochi chahi the target that was set for the calendar year 2022 uh, had to be revised. Had to be revised because of Omicron. Because of various issues uh, macroeconomic levels which is out of our control so what is important is to communicate uh, with your marketing sales finance team and to continuously monitor what can be achieved versus what was uh, budgeted or what was targeted and there has to be logic behind it i know there has to be uh, reasons uh, practical reasons Uh, it can be you know like uh, rohit ji said it can be related to oversupply it can be related to like seema ji said um, uh, macroeconomic scenarios like liquidity crisis or bank interest rates are high or disposable income is low so it is very important not to be stringent in targets but at the same time you cannot uh, uh, be very uh, loose uh, as well so you need to work with the team together with the sales team and you need to monitor whether it's monthly whether it's quarterly uh, whether it's bi yearly uh, the the goal is to get as close to the initially set target um and then to monitor it to understand each other that why we have accomplished this target or why we have not accomplished this target so that's very important thanks akshay 
Um, family, I think we touched upon the target winning winning target could like there are like few components which can help organizations while setting up the setting up the whole target for the organizations. Again, uh, cement industry is one of the most example. In Boile, being as a media, I mean, facing our case, and one of the largest spenders cement industry as there is nowhere. I know. So, a whole ecosystem like any kind of effect will be there. So, post COVID, I mean, a significant, one of the significant change market we have seen. Just like, I'm like, my love, when I'm in our senior sankur, I'm seeing only that I'm not seeing only that turbulent time, but I'm going to see that I'm going to see that. So in this economic recession, there are political uncertainties, instability, there are different policies that are being taken away. So this whole dynamics has changed. Dynamics has changed, but our GDP has increased in the same way. And the inflation has increased in the same way. So we have to keep spending and we have to keep spending. So in this case, we have to keep the sales team and the product clear in the market. We have to keep the scheme in the market, we have to keep the scheme in the market, we have to keep the scheme in the market. There is no success. In this case, I have a question, I have to ask you about the question. Employee motivations, how do we set a winning culture? How do we set a format for the team to motivate and retain? Thank you. Thank you, because it's a very relevant question. Um, we have gone through such economic, uh, we are in fact going through this crisis, and to motivate the team is important. Uh, what we have done in our organization that uh, we've had some uh, workshops regarding this only and some skill training happening so that they are also involved, you know, learning new skills. This is going to be temporary, definitely. This phase will pass and we will get into a better future. But uh, that skills training has helped them. Other than that, what we have done is uh, there are various ways of pushing up the sales. That first, uh, we have started with exchange, uh, exchange scheme, which was not very popular in uh, consumer electronics. So that has boosted the sales, you know, talking about exchanging your old uh, televisions or refrigerator or whatever and buying new one and of course uh, EMI which was again not in consumer electronic it was popular in the when you're buying a house or uh, automobiles but in consumer electronics so you have to come out with new strategies how to help the sales team which has helped them and as I said earlier that we've had uh, some skills training programs for them so that they are involved and they are motivated and sometimes it is important that the from the leadership the positivity has to be there we cannot show to them that the it's bad and the company is going through they are, they understand the losses we are going through we are transparent but we have to show as a leader of the company i show my posi positivity and that goes to them and then all these other cha channels we are using to continue in these tough times it's helping us Thank you. I think we are running out of time, but I, I will take these questions to Akshay because in your multi-diverse uh, conglomerate, you are focused on uh, export, right? Um, to export, there policy changes in export, there are many post-pandemic effects. So, there is a team faction of teams in Nepal, there is a team in Nepal, there is a team in Nepal. Motivation is the same or the same? Motivation science, so they, we try to maintain that whether it's good times, bad times, you know, motivation should be the same. Passion should be the same. In fact, uh, I think uh, bad times, Malikati passion, Borsa, because uh, you have to be more competitive. You have to be able to, uh, I would say, gauge, you know, uh, very turbulent waters. So motivation is always higher for me and, and I, I would say uh, for my team as well in bad times. However, results are not there, right? So when the results are not there, uh, it is human nature to feel a little low. It is human nature to feel a little disheartened. Um, but uh, I think uh, motivation levels, if you like your job, if you're passionate about it, like Seema Ji said, if, you, if the leader exudes confidence and, and, and passion and uh, hope, the, the motivation stays, stays good. All right. So leader like Choi Anubhav, leader ko again dekhiye, kura uthi rakhe kothiyo. We know all by saying that people leave, don't leave their organizations, they leave their leaders, right? 
रा विनिंग कल्चर को लागी मना लाख सा जोन ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस को कम्युनिकेशंस को वैल्यू को करा करें ये वाला वैल्यू कम्युनिकेशंस को वैल्यू लाय हमने ट्रिकल डाउन मैथ वाला तलाशन कौशल लीडर जाना सकते हैं बिकॉज़ रोटन स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम टॉप बंद सा तलाब वाला तब खासे क्यों दे ना रोटन स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम द टॉप बंद सा सो नो मैटर हाउ गुड द कंपनी इज नो मैटर हाउ गुड द इंसेंटिव इज हाउ गुड द एटमोस्फेयर इज इफ योर लीडर इज नॉट गुड पीपल लीव द जॉब द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट परफॉर्मेंस लीव द जॉब राइट माय क्वेश्चंस आई थिंक आई विल टेक दिस क्वेश्चंस टू विद रोहित सो व्हाट बेस्ट लीडरशिप अप्रोच डू यू हैव इन अ कंपनी बिकॉज़ आई हर्ड दैट आफ्टर यू जॉइन द कंपनी यू हैव चेंज देयर वाज अ अपसाइड डाउन चेंज इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एकदम ही राम्रो ग्रो भएको छ राइट कस्तो बेस्ट लीडरशिप स्टाइल अब तपाईले युज गर्न राख्नुहुन्छ एउटा ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो विनिंग सेल्स कल्चर एस्टाब्लिश गर्नको लागि द बेसिक यो I think uh, first thing we did was improve the infrastructure for our people. We, we, I mean, uh, when we when we rebranded ourselves as Ramesh Corp, you know, I uh, totally redid the entire office infrastructure because that is where people are spending most of the time. You know, normally, normally the normally the thing is like you know the owners would have the best of offices, but like you know the employees are like you know struggling with like the you know, basic office uh, office space. So I think that is changing in Nepal. Jun hamle pani gare kosani theri various other organizations like Golian Group and like you know even Golcha Group and like everyone everyone has done that. That does keep the like you know motivation going in the people because what they think is like the owners are not only thinking about themselves. Owners are also thinking about like the entire organization. Plus also you know candid conversations which uh, Seema just mentioned you know have an open discussion open conversation because these are the times you know when you need to physically you know talk to each other you know so I mean more uh, on a review meetings we do like you know discuss data data and everything but at the same time we also um, discuss and need to understand we also discuss and need uh, to understand the, you know the pain what our sales team is going through you know because you just uh, mentioned like you know about uh, Fixing up a business target and doing a an review. So we did that in our organization last year. So we did. We had very aspirational targets, you know, last year, and we we could see that you know the target the, those targets are not reaching anywhere. So we did we did a mid mid year review. We sat with our entire sales team from from various verticals. We told them we told them to honestly tell us what is market looking like and where do you think we would you know close during the end of the year because if uh, you know if as a senior management if we do not like you know adhere to that if we just keep pushing them to achieve 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 what is not non achievable then the true things would stop coming to you you know everything would start going under the carpet that is what you need to you know avoid as an organization and once you are once you are there with your people in these times mm -hmm. certainly there are a lot of people like you know who would stay with you you know uh, in your organization for for, for long so, term so what you are saying that uh, infrastructure and open communication is the key i would say so okay so i'll pass on this question to akshay maybe uh, after you joined uh, your group of companies it's been known like while well, i was talking to you i i i acknowledge that you are a people first approach leadership style tapai ko cha hain tapai aise ji to implementations pani garnu bhayo cha so what exactly people first approach style ani esle manche la kasari motivate garirakha cha whole organizations ma so what uh, you know what i did was pehla chai it was always top down sort of approach whether it's sales targets whether it is के करने वेदर इट्स फाइनेंसेस कहाँ पैसा राखने सिंस वी आर इन टू मल्टिपल ऑल ऑफ अस आर इन टू मल्टिपल बिजनेसेस इट वाज वेरी टॉप डाउन लीडर और डायरेक्टर सेंट्रिक अप्रोच सो आई चेंज दैट बिकॉज नॉट आई वुड से इफ आई मे नन ऑफ अस नो एवरीथिंग राइट व्हाट सीमा जी और और रोहित जी इन यू नो दे नो इन देयर फील आई कैन नेवर नो इट्स इम्पॉसिबल so when we are uh, investing and when we are uh, hiring right talent mm -hmm. for the job that means they know the job right so we have to listen to them mm -hmm. and when we listen to them that makes them feel that they they are not just there to fulfill a gap they are there to contribute in ideas as well so that is what a, a holistic approach is Uh, I think uh, Rohaji mentioned that uh, you know we cannot always put the entire sales on the sales team. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, in in our organization we have a, a performance linked incentive that is cross functional. It is not okay if sales achieves their target they will get the incentive. No, if uh, sales does not achieve their target, even production or even finance will not get their part of their incentive. so we have to interlink everyone mm -hmm. and we have to make sure that everyone feels a part of the bigger uh, goal you know it is not about an individual and it is not about targets or some business it is about something you have to enjoy you have to see how you're contributing to 
the uh, company, your family, uh, organization, society, country, everything, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's great. I, I think that's great. We, we are also running out of time. I just want to quickly, because you are into, and uh, your team member, whole Samsung Plaza, like whole mirror, your business, like Hiri Rakhi Kosa. So is it is it different is it different to them like I mean what what leadership style you are uh, using in the your organizations that is helping achieving your target or that is helping achieving the winning culture in your organization? Uh, yeah, so Sam Ben, my first Samsung Plaza was open 20 years back, and uh, yes, it was very very different because uh, a uh, you don't associate women with electronics. You know, you associate women working in nursing and banking and schools and all, but electronic is something, and then things have changed now. 20 years back, it was never associated. So when I got them, that itself was a big uh, factor for these girls because they felt very empowered. And when you feel empowered, you give your best. So, and after that, we have now, uh, all over uh, Nepal, we have around 14 plazas. And in Kathmandu, the entire team, 100%, I would say, from the manager to finance to marketing to sales and uh, everything is run by women. So they have, why they're performing better, I'm not saying if it was men team, they would have performed better or less. That's not the comparison. It's not being a gender bias here. But the thing is, they feel very empowered because they feel that they are able to achieve in, on their own, especially things like electronics, where they have to talk about air conditioner or where they have to talk about, you know, televisions or refrigerators. Uh, this is something which earlier, it was not related to a women team. So that has helped and uh, it's really mot motivating. And the, when they see the entire team from me to the, my down there, all of us, the girl who gives me tea is also women. So it's, it's a very great feeling. So as of common, I think like it's a communications and leadership, uh, true leadership that's, that's convey the actual message of winning culture, I guess, that we all agree with that. So before I went to, my, went to, uh, uh, to our audiences to ask for questions, I think one last question that is actually bugging me from a long time. And uh, in fact, I was um, trying to decode like, it's like, it's to solve some like, of the solve your name. Maybe Nepal, Nepal, Bayer, open hunsa Nepal. Bhitra aze mo body dekhu. Interdepartmental collaborations ko kurar ma jali pani hami all zin songe. Koi le kya ek costo ki hunsa nesi hami songa A T hunsa. Hai na corporate ko A T hunsa, finance ko hunsa, marketing ko hunsa. Ekdam A T hunsa. Toh top management ko bureaucratic bureau ekdam bureaucracy process le karta hai hami harai rakhe ka hunsa. The winning sales or winning culture bhitra chhina ko lagi. Other way, other way side pani costo hunsa koi le kya management ekdam ei ram hunsa. Ekdam ei open hunsa, open communications ma chhira rakhe ko hunsa. There is a lot of bureaucracy. You can't resolve it. How do you set the winning culture? Because you as the owner, you have to have an organization, a smooth winning culture organization, which is your target achieve goals. Definitely. So in this situation, you have to have top management bureaucracy, you have to have top management bureaucracy, you have to have lower management bureaucracy. How do you solve it? What is an important tool in this? So maybe, Akshay, we can go with you. Yeah, this is uh, this is a very relevant question. No, uh, s bureaucracy is not only in the government and in, in organizations also. It, it happens uh, ultimately. So how we I can only give our uh, company's example. How we do it is we do quarterly reviews with the team, and uh, so for example, someone who's reporting to me, he cannot get a hundred percent mark if his team is not getting a hundred percent mark. So uh, in our uh, reviews, we do a second layer review as well. So I don't do it, but my uh, head of uh, human resources, she does reviews of uh, top level and then also their second level to get the feedback of their supervisor. So Alikati, to mitigate, uh, we do a lot of, uh, you know, inter-hierarchy reviews and understand how the leader is doing, whether the employee under him or her is motivated, and also the inverse. Um, but ultimately, see, uh, you have to trust your uh, team. You have to trust who you have put in which position to do, to do their job. And feedback is very, very important. Most feedback right. of the team, yeah. No, Ruki, I'll take up a maybe we can pass that because we're Review, feedback, uh, 
एउटा उहाँले एउटा राम्रो राख्नु भयो the bureaucratic process लाई हामीले अरु कुनै अरु कुनै एंगल अझै थप्न सक्छौं जसले गर्दा खेरि विनिंग सेल्स कल्चर तिर हामी जान सक्छौं हजुरको थट प्रोसेस यसमा हामीले आफ्नो अर्गनाइजेशन सक्सेसफुली प्र्याक्टिस गरेर आको 360 डिग्री एनुअल रिभ्यू हो सो एउटा एनुअल अप्रिजल हुन्छ 360 डिग्री रिभ्यू डज नॉट हैव टु डू विथ परफर्मेंस को के पनि कुरा हुँदैन त्यसमा भनेमा 360 डिग्री रिभ्यूमा मेरो पनि 360 डिग्री रिभ्यू हुन्छ भनेमा मेरो पियर्स भयो मेरो डाइरेक्ट रिपोर्ट ही भयो सो व्हाट दिस रिभ्यू हेल्प्स इज for people to know and realize what other people are like you know thinking or like you know uh, perceiving about, about them you know kinaki dheri chuti organization you know when you are doing stuff yourself you are successful you know aapne eva perception build hota so i think 360 degree review in organization has helped us that's great like we are similar simadi last like what's your view on this yeah so as they said even our organization the same we have this appraisal structure and uh, uh, everything is reviewed and the important part is the leaders have to accept what has been reviewed whether mm. it it is we cannot show a thing that if it's something not liked by employee and that uh, rejecting it then mm. that is a difficult part for any leadership i guess mm. but to accept it and that's when we can go to the winning culture we were talking about absolutely so i mean we are we are now very close to our session before we end up our wrap up this session uh, क्यूएन ए बीस मिनट को जी क्यूएन छ हमी बड़ी में तीनदि चार वा जी को लिख सक सो माई रिक्वेस्ट टू द ऑडियस लाइक हजरसंग रेडी कर हाथ उठाइन पर्यटन और भोलेंटिंग हाथ उठाई दिखे ठाव में पुगदी प्लिज मैं माइक दिन एंड तब स्पेसिफिकली आपको क्वेश्चन को राख् खोजन भाषा सा नाम लीएर आपको क्वेश्चन राख दिन थैंक यू Thank you, Mohan sir, for this uh, uh, event. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you, Mohan sir, for bringing Dr. Pawan Agrawal in this event. I'm still getting those goosebumps, you know. I mean, I feel like just going back to my company and start selling my product myself. It's, it was really a, a great uh, exposure. Uh, my question to all of you three sitting out there: uh, You know, as an entrepreneur, uh, we look investment and returns. Uh, but then in nepal right now the recession is on the cost of production is high and as we know you know the policies are not very correct and companies are struggling to pay bank debts so at this point of time i would not be speaking about akshay you know i mean your company must be doing very well i'm i'm not talking about your company but then those companies the smes or the upper medium industries how do they meet your target in the adverse time and to meet target you know how do you pump in money when you do not have amount with you and second uh, what system do you apply to find right people from the market i i think i can have uh, i've given the right two questions if you've understood thank you yeah so i'll just start this off yes. uh, if that's okay so it, it's not that my companies or our companies are doing too well so just so it's out there everyone's struggling you know this uh, this year everyone is struggling however uh, to answer your question i'll just take a minute uh, see all all companies have had good years uh, you know i'm sure in 2021 22 or earlier before covid they've had good years so you know in 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 this uh, in these times where the years are bad you know you have to consolidate you have to accept that you will not get the kind of growth that you've gotten in the previous years you will not get the kind of profits or revenues you've gotten in the previous years and you have to live with it you have to accept it um in terms of struggling to pay debts uh in terms of struggling to you know uh, finance operations see this is a call it's a tough call that individual entrepreneurs have to take whether to continue or whether to you know try to find some funding or try to find a partner or to go back to banks and you know extend some lines of credits there there are multiple options but that is a call that the entrepreneur uh, themselves have to take um and your second question i won't take too much time i'll let uh, rohit ji or sima ji ask i'll answer the question about uh, i think finding the right person right for that i think you know it cannot happen uh, overnight what 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 in our organization what has helped is i mean 10 years back you know when i joined business we, we did not have an hr in our company you know and we did not even realize that we might require an hr but when and when we had when we hired an hr then we realized how important an hr is so i think for all business owners first we have to um 
first we have to like you know be mindful that hr is as important as finance you know because we only prioritize finance and hr hr we think you tamia figure also hamil tha side administration so if you have a good hr you know who is preaching and practicing what organization is doing organization is saying automatically you will see you'll start finding competing uh, 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 you know good good competitive people in the market ma ma pani rohit lai add karna chahanchu tapai tin jana la matra sodhnu bhayo thyo since organizations ma hamile ni yo right mind zero ram sahi matlab yo right candidate huncha ki hundaina bhaneko hamile badeko chhu मैं के लगे राइट कैंडिडेट कहीं होते हैं एट फर्स्ट भर्खर ग्रेजुएट कर आईरा मैं बड़ा हमें कति एक्सपेक्टेशन्स राख्ने है उसके सुरू में आगे को स्किल इनहांसमेंट हम ट्राई कर सकता हेन सकता ऊ के राम उसको कुछ सफ्टवेयर में बड़ी राम काम कर उसको स्किल उसको थट प्रोसेस के हेन सकता तर राइट मैं शायद एट कंपनी हमी हम ये बसिखे जो टीम होता उसे ग्रो कर ओवर द इयर अभी तो कल्चर पास अन कर यो ये गए हमें राइट पीपल राइट टैलेंट्स बाहर मत खोजे निस्कूँ बिकज हम ग्रो कर दस वर्ष जन्म अर्क कंपनी आँच उसे टक्क मैं टैलेंट हंड भो मं लिंद दैट इज नट अ राइट टैलेंट एक्चुअली मं जन्माने टैलेंट हंड आई गेस लाइक वहाँ कसरी उसको लेवलसम पुराइद सकने मई थिंक आई 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 एंसर्ड युअर क्वेश्चन थैंक यू अनदर क्वेश्चन प्लीज Thank you for this question. Actually, uh, I just want to get your opinion. Like uh, one uh, great sales sales master said, if you want to look for a winning culture, get clues from across the industry. Get clues from across the industry. Is it relevant? My first question is. Second, in terms of getting a winning sales culture. is modeling the masters uh, the right approach modeling the masters is it the right approach thank you it's hindra sharma from pharma industry thank you mohan sir for this wonderful event see uh, what i would say if you are in a company if you've joined the company obviously you must have trusted the leadership before joining a company you must have trusted the leadership and that is why you are part of that company and uh, modeling then comes because if you look up to your leader and if he is giving you the value you are looking for then there's no harm in that you are just learning something new if you are not happy with your own leadership what's happening in the company then i don't think so you'll be able to perform well there is no point sticking to that company so the leadership if it is uh, transparent it's communicating to you and uh, it's listening to you then i guess i feel it should be very very comfortable to be part of it and looking up to the leaders and it can provide a winning culture tapai uh, ko i think your question thi ki can uh, we can can we import culture or can we look around and try to build that culture in an organization i i don't think for, uh, personally i don't think you know culture is one fit all size because you know uh, like our three organizations are different you know we might we might be inheriting three different things and our businesses are different so different business might have different culture it is about it is about realizing you know what business are you in or what good practices are around and trying to uh, trying to you know open heartedly i think uh, do it obviously we can draw aspiration but because of the say because of the uh, age gender a lot of their other biases there in in every organization so i think every organization is uh, is i think different in that uh, in that aspect we can always draw aspiration but ultimately we have to have a self belief on what what kind of culture we want to endure in our, in an organization yeah, adoption yeah absolutely adoption 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 can be done but i mean it has to start from the top and we have to look what aspects of that culture we are we are adapting we still can take one or two question if नमस्ते मेरो रोहित सर एटा क्वेश्चन है कैसे एलाइन कर रहा कि सर सर जी तो कसरी भादा खेल नहीं जिस यहाँ सेल्स को मं अलवेज एग्रेसिव होलवेज एग्रेसिव हो कारगेट हो पर सैकेंड पर मिनट है तर तो तब को फंक्शनल हेडर ने बुझ्देन क्या डे आर सीडिंग इन चेयर्स है 
अब यो यह के भादा खेल रिपोर्टिंग करने ती फनल हो फिर है फलाना तो डाटे आऊन्न फलाना तो एनालाइसि करेन भाई हो यो टर्म्स में सेल्स को मं ओवर प्रेसर भर बस क्या यो 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 प्रेसर रिलीज कर सजेसन दिन हमें सेल्स को यहाँ मानी बसिरा है सब सर भी सेल्स हो सर को एंसर बड़ा मैं धे रिट कर इसको एटा सर ने भनदेन हमें खुशी लगे कि तब को एकदम ठीक हो मेरे हिसाब से है सेल्स में तब को फील्ड में जो हम सेल्स एक्जिक्यूटिव एसएम आरएसएम यू नो हो सब एकदम जोश ले लगी रखे हो तर ते टू फ्रैंकली भादा है कति कति छोटी के होता कि तब वहाँ पर्सेप्शन भी एट बना हो कि हमें धेरे एग्रेसिव छूँ है तर मेरे हिसाब से इसमें इसमें के होता कि हेन नेपाल मैं के देखे देखे मैं कि हम एसएम टीएसओ आरएसएम लेवल में एक दरों तरीका सामान कस कसरी बेचने भर मात्र हम लगी रखे हो हमें अरुण एस्पेक्ट्स हमें स्टडी करतेन कि ओके हम सेल्स भैर छे अथवा भैर व्हाट आर द अदर एस्पेक्ट मार्केट कंपिटिशन के मैपिंग के मार्केट सेयर के धेरे कुरा में हमें आपको सेल्स टीमसंग धे स्ट्रगल कर पर्चा तर तब भन्न भाई फंक्शनल एड मैं बसि अभी लाइक यू नो द पर्सन इज नट नट बदल अबाउट कि भैर आई थिंक एक्जैक्टली तस्त हो तर इसमें के होता कि तब को जो फंक्शनल हेड स इफ द फंक्शनल हेड ने जो जो रिपोर्टिंग मांगे नट ओन्ली सेल्स को एस्पेक्ट तर तब को मार्केट पेनिट्रेशन डब्ल्यूओडी डिओडी अरुण अरुण एस्पेक्ट जो तब होनी अक्षर भी जो भाई में लजिक लजिक राइट स आई थिंक यू नो तब को फंक्शनल हेड ने तब को सपोर्ट कर तर कोटी मेरे पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस में वाइल टकिंग टू यू नो आवर आवर ग्राउंड पीपल धेरे कुछ हो सेल्स भैन यो भैन तो भैन इट अल बक्स डाउन टू प्राइसिंग के है वेन इट अल बक्स डाउन टू प्राइसिंग देन नो वन कैन हेल्प यू तर इफ यू हेव अ स्ट्रंग लॉजिक अफ से प्रडक्ट प्राइसिंग और मार्केट पेनिट्रेशन डब्ल्यू डी डिओडी मिक्स आई एम श्योर लाइक यू नो तक इट विल ट्रांसलेट अप एंड यू नो इट विल इट विल कन्वर्ट इन टू प्रपर डिजिजन मेकिंग मैं जो लगता है थैंक यू सर थैंक यू वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन प्लीज वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन Namaste. In some cases, rarely, our team might have done big mistake at the time of service delivery, but some mistakes do not have the perfect solution. Uh, how can we manage that situation on the way in which the actual problem has not been solved, but the customer is happy? How can we manage that situation? So maybe this Simadi can answer the questions because. Thank you. I think the the right way will be to accept that there was a flaw. We cannot move on because customer is happy today; he may not be happy tomorrow. So to accept that there was a mistake and we should rectify. I would say that would be the best way because in the end, where we're talking about sales, it's not always just sales target driven. It should be customer oriented. Especially my work is always about the customer feel. So that's how I think to have a long term relationship. you have to have whatever you are selling has to be customer oriented so he is your permanent customer you're not just looking for sales of this month or that month so if you are saying if some mistake has happened let's accept it and i've always been talking about there should be communication let's talk it out bring it to the table leadership the sales team everything this was the mistake and i think we should move it from the approach should be different and this is how we should get it that that's what i would do in my company Thank you for being amazing audience. Uh, uh, I think now we'll sum up this session. Mm, thank you for being amazing panel. You know, winning sales, winning culture, winning sales, losing culture, or losing sales, winning culture. You go many rounds, sir. Just like sir. You know, Nancy, I'm going to Nokia for example. Liyo, or you know, I'm going to John Kapoor Chhota Kharkhana. Just examples. Liyo, you know, Chhota Chhota company. Urban Dharai Sahib. I can. Sansan company. Urban Chhota Bhai. I can. यह सब एट प्रोसेस एट एसओपी भि मिर्स अगर हमारे पवन अग्रवाल सर ने एकदम एक्जापल्स की राख्स वहाँ के लिस्ट अफ कंपोनेंट्स लेख्त भो कि सब कंपोनी कंपोनेंट्स राख्व तो लास्ट में के बनुने जो केपेबल से पे काम कर हमी काम कर एकदम आपने एनर्जी लगन पे इस में है अर्गनाइजेस को पोलिशीज एसओपी जरूर हो तर विंग सेल्स रिंग कल्चर को लगी मैनेजमेंट को भैल्यू मैनेजमेंट को कम्युनिकेशन्सला कम्युनिकेशन्स डाउन आई सके इंप्लिमेंटेशन प्रोसेस शायद हमी लग्न पर्चा 
ये भन्द आज को सेंसन्स कल्टिवेटिंग अ विनिंग सेल्स कल्चर म थोड़े भाई के टेक हजार को पक्की भी भाग सो यो सेंसन यहाँ क्लोज कर अगड़ी फिर भी मोहन दाई रोथ सेलर लाइट अपर्चुनिटी स्टाब्लिश कर देखे में धन्यवाद एट राम सेंसन कर दून भाई यहाँ बस्ने धेरे मानी को लाई बिहान हम डॉक्टर साहब एकेडमिशियन हम सर देखि लीएर हम पवन अग्रवाल सरसम भी हम राम मेसेज पाऊं रो सेंसन बड़ आने सेंसन बड़ी हजार राम टेक वे पाँच संगे संगे आज देखि हजूले सुरू करूक अवार्ड्स सेल्स अवार्ड को लगी हजूल अग्रिम शुभ कामना रुने जति अब एक्कीसजना कैटेगोरी में वहाँ दिखाँ भूक बिहान सब अग्रिम बधाई ये भन्द आज को सेंसन में मैं क्लोज कर पैनल थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू Well, thank you so much uh, to our panelist and the moderator. I'm going to sum this up in a while, but uh, thank you and a huge round of applause to all of them who are on stage. So it was such an interesting session, and I was entirely into it, listening to all the ideas they've shared and talked about: winning sales, winning culture, losing sales, losing losing culture, and everything based on it. I mean, this ko bade pani discussions are definitely gorsong tara, as they've mentioned the importance of uh, realizing the marketing reality gap, and also um, leadership costo sa and who we are trusting to, and when we are trusting our leaders, we're also trusting the process. they're going into it uh, was so important because there should be people that you all look up to as well an interesting questions are upani sodnu bhayo jun interesting question ma wa harle bhannu bha asse leaders kasto choose garnu bha asa tyo euta importance bhay halyo but motivation ko kura garda dr agrawal le bhannu bha asto yo sabai motivation ma सब जाना को आपको डिफ्रेंट बिजनेस हो डिफ्रेंट कल्चर होंड व्हाट काइंड अफ बिजनेस वी आर इन टू इट अभी हम कल्चर कस्त बुझ्स एकदम जरूरी है तर मोटिवेशन वी डू गेट फ्रम वर्क बट रिकग्नेशन से आप भाई पर्सपेक्टिव में वहाँ एज अ होल बोल दून भाई तो थैंक यू सो मच टू द फैनलिस्ट नाउ आई लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट एंड कल अपन मिस समझना शर्मा को चेयरपर्सन सील समिट स्टेयरिंग कमिटी बा अन स्टेज एंड टू गिव आवर टोकन अफ एप्रिशिएसन to our panelist uh so one more time thank you so much we're going to start with mr akshay golian managing director golian group so thank you so much for being a part of the session would like to also thank mr rohit gupta vice chairman uh ramesh corp thank you so much sir for being here today also to ms seema golcha director him electronics thank you so much for being a part of the panel discussion and our moderator our facilitator for the session mr shishri pachai ceo kantipur television kantipur fm thank you so much would like to request for a group photo for everyone together and as we end our panel discussion on cultivating a winning sales culture thank you so much everyone would like to thank all our panelists and moderator and uh, request you to be seated whereas i'd like to request ms samjana sharma to please be on stage we do have our sponsor who's been really supportive to us justly garda waharle garda ni yo karyakram safal bhayeko cha aaja tesaile hamro sponsors haru lai chai hami thank you bhanna chahanchu and especially our platinum sponsor knp japan like thank you so much bhandai would like to present this token of appreciation i'd like to call upon our country manager mr manoj mishra here on stage as well as our marketing manager kedar thapa to please be on stage uh, as well thank you so much for being a part and supporting us throughout the event thank you so much one more time thank you so much to our platinum sponsor Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us on stage. Would like to thank everybody and request you to please be seated. 
Now we'd like to move ahead with our next session. This is the fourth session for the day, but this is the keynote session. So keynote session, the importance have already been highlighted. But what